What up you guys, John's Motor Garage. Welcome back to the channel. So uh, a couple days ago, I found out that Buell is potentially coming out with a new super cruiser. It's gonna be 175 horsepower, really rad looking cruiser that only weighs 450 pounds. So I was super stoked about this and went out and did a video about it. And after posting that video and kind of thinking a little bit more about it, I thought, you know, there are some potential concerns, doubts, reservations about this new Buell super cruiser. And today I wanna to go over those concerns with you guys. Concern number one is whether or not it'll ever actually make it to production. We've seen time and time again where you have a prototype and it looks super cool. Everything about it seems rad, but it just never makes it to production. So you have to wonder, will this actually ever come out? Concern number two is if it does come out, how close will the production bike be to the prototype? Concern number three, I think is gonna be price point. It's supposedly gonna be around $20,000 for this motorcycle, which at that price point, even though to me, 20K for a bike is still expensive given everything that it is, and the fact that you just have nothing else like that on the market today, I could see paying 20,000 for this motorcycle, but in 2025, is it gonna be 20K or will it be 25 or $30,000? Time will tell. Concern number four is gonna be reliability. I don't know much about these engines. I don't know if they've been in production very long or not. And so you have to wonder, will it be a reliable engine or are people gonna be having all these kinds of issues? Concern number five, right there with reliability is gonna be dealer network. As far as we know, there is no dealer network. I know if you look on their website, they're supposed to be working with select special dealers to service these bikes so you have to wonder can you service these bikes on your own how easy is maintenance going to be do you have to take it to a shop or dealership to do that and if so how much is that going to cost now another concern that wasn't really a concern of mine but somebody had mentioned is with a 450 pound motorcycle and 175 horsepower is it going to be unstable at higher speeds and my thought on that is most super sports weigh about 430 pounds or thereabouts and are built to go fast. So I think with proper suspension and tuning and setup, you can have a lightweight bike with high performance numbers that will go fast and be stable. I believe the prototype has a steering stabilizer. And so if the final production model does as well, then hopefully that would address that issue. Obviously, if you're looking for you know a big, comfortable touring bike, this isn't the bike for you. This is a peak performance. And honestly, the target market is gonna be people that like the Dynas, like the FXRs, are spending a ton of money to build those bikes up to be more performance built machines. This would check a lot of boxes for that particular market. Now, one concern I had is from my experience, with motorcycles, less is often more. I've had high performance V-twin motorcycles like the Dyna Lowrider S for example. And honestly, after a few months having that bike and riding it, it was almost too much power for the things that I wanted to do on the bike. For example, doing donuts and ripping wheelies, you don't need 175 horsepower to do that. And oftentimes it's harder to do those things with so much power. I think it'd be cool if they had like maybe a 100 or 80 horsepower option that still only weighed 450 pounds. So you'd have a bike that kind of looks rad gets the style, like what I'm looking for with the Dyna, but only weighs as much as the DRZ Supermoto. So that would be potentially cool as well. Now, another thing that I was thinking, and I don't know anything about this new Buell company, and I haven't really done my research or looked into it, so I have no reason to suspect this whatsoever, but we've seen a lot out there where people have these kind of cash grabs almost. Right now, Buell has taken a $50 deposit uh, pre-order fee for this motorcycle. And based on what I read on the website, essentially this is a non-refundable fee, doesn't guarantee anything. It doesn't guarantee that the bike will be produced, doesn't guarantee you'll actually be able to buy the bike. It's just basically saying, hey, I'm reserving a spot for this motorcycle so that if it does end up coming into production, I guess I'm in line to buy it or something like that. The way I look at that is this is kind of a way for them to test the waters and get an idea of the interest. I have no idea, no reason to believe that Buell's trying to scam or do anything like that to people or try to rip people off. So, you know, 50 bucks, it's not a ton of money to part with to potentially reserve the uh, a spot to buy the motorcycle. I haven't paid the 50 bucks. I don't plan on doing it, but we'll see what happens in 2025. So drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think. I'm still super stoked about the prospect of this motorcycle. Just the fact that they have now demonstrated that you can have a performance V-twin that looks rad and doesn't weigh six, 700 pounds. That alone, I think is a game changer because already they've opened up the door to tons of new possibilities that before I didn't even think were really an option, you know? And so that alone is a step in the right direction in my opinion but let me know below what you guys think like and subscribe if you dig the content i appreciate the support and we'll catch you guys on the next one <laughs>